oh no, did Laguna forget to feed Neptuna? Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is a little overdue because <laughs> I had a few other videos that I was already like planning on making and putting out when I finally got this doll in the mail. But I am really excited to finally open and review Laguna Blue from the Honka Tour Collection. <laughs> I am so excited to actually open her because I, I really like the, the design of this doll and I am really anxious to share her with you and really just get her out of the box. <laughs> I've actually had this doll for a little while now. I think I've had her for like two months now or like a month and a half or something like that. And normally when I get these dolls, I drop everything I'm doing and I film a review that day and try and get it up as soon as possible. But she happened to be delivered like shortly after or around the time that I broke my camera. So I wasn't able to film her. I mean, I could have filmed her on one of my other cameras, but I wanted to use this camera so it could because it's a lot higher definition and everything. So um, I decided to wait and then in waiting, other videos came up that I wanted to get out. So um, I worked on those or focused on those first uh, and did that. But anyway, we are here now and I'm ready to get this doll out of the box and everything so that way we can show you. Oh, and we got a puppy. <laughs> so this is my dad's dog and her name is Sierra. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this little girl right here all over my stories um, and a couple reels I think ha have already been posted. But yeah, my dad got a new puppy. We're not 100% sure uh, what breed she is. We know that the mom is Yellow Lab, which is funny because she's, you know, the darkest black. Hey, that's my microphone. Get away from that. <laughs> she is um, a little mixed puppy. Um, and one of my sister-in-law, I think it was her, her boss, like they had a dog and they had puppies and they gave us one of them. So anyway, this is the new puppy. She may make appearances here and there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a whole lot of dog content just because I'm not sure like how to really do that or transition to that. Um, plus my channel isn't really like dog content heavy, but um, I just wanted to show you the little puppy that we got. So say hi to everybody. Over there. Over here. Look, look. Say hi to everybody. Okay. I think I'm annoying her now. I'm going to put her down. <laughs> now I do have two of the other Haunt Couture dolls. I have Frankie and Claudine and I have opened both of these obviously and I've reviewed them so those videos are on my channel if you want to see the videos for these I will put the links up on the screen at the end of this video so when you're done here you can go watch those if you'd like to check those out but for now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and we're gonna take a close in-depth look at Laguna Blue from the Haunt Couture collection all right, so here is the coffin box that the Haunt Couture dolls all come in. Um, I do have a couple other Laguna dolls and then of course my other Haunt Couture dolls here to help model the box for you. <laughs> but I am gonna go ahead and actually move these out of the way for right now just so that way I have a little bit of room to show you everything. So each of the Haunt Couture dolls come in a box like this. It is shaped like a coffin and on the front it has this Monster High logo that says Haunt Couture. Uh, this is an extra like card that's like glued on which is really cool and then on the backing here this is all like a glossy finish it's like monogrammed with different things and then each of the little symbols you see are different on each of the boxes for the different characters so like for Laguna you've got like a seahorse an octopus a starfish you've got the skelet with the little fins here and the scales you can kind of see it when the light reflects off of it a little bit better um, here's a different starfish you know you've got a, a seashell here with a chain like there's a whole bunch of really cute motifs going on here and you know you can see it kind of carries throughout the whole box also this like greenish part that you're seeing is metallic so it kind of reflects right now the 
camera's not doing the greatest job showing that, but um, it is metallic. Uh, if you turn the box around on the back, the reflective kind of like icons and everything carry through, but now this green part here is just painted on. It's not like the metallic like the front is. Let me go ahead and get the top off of this. All right, and then when you take the lid off, this is what you see. I'm so excited she looks so good just like that. Okay, hold on. It does come with a little certificate of authenticity. At the top you see the Monster High logo. It says Honk Couture Certif Certificate of Authenticity. This certifies that your Monster High Honk Couture Laguna Blue doll materialized through collaborative efforts of designers and artists at Mattel. So, and then it's got like the signature of the designer there. Here is the back. I'm not going to read through this whole thing, but if you want to pause the video, you can go ahead and read through it for yourself if you like. On the inside of the lid, there is a diary hidden here. Now, once again, I'm not going to read through this, but there are several um, places online, including like on Instagram and stuff like that, that have gone through the entire diaries. They've read through them, posted the text to them. I mean, obviously I'm showing some of it right now. So if you want to read the first couple pages, you can pause the video and, you know, see what the uh, diary is saying here. I actually still have all of the diaries of all of my Monster High and Ever After High dolls. All right, so here is Laguna. She does have this plastic dust cover here. Let me take this off so that way we can see her a little closer. Oh my gosh, here she is. Oh, wait, why is it not focusing? There we go. She is so pretty. So here is like the, you know, top to bottom outfit and everything. I already took a look at her face and everything and I did not spot any defects or anything. Okay, here is a close up of her face. Um, it, since her hair is not covering her face, it's just easier to show you while I've got her in the box. But she is so pretty. I really like her makeup and I like that they gave her blue eyebrows instead of purple. Um, not that it really matters, but I think that the blue does complement her a little bit. You know, since the streaks in her hair are blue, I don't know, I think it just kind of goes a little more than the purple did. But her face paint looks so good and I love the little freckles and everything. Uh, she looks so good. I will show all of the accessories and everything once I get her out of the box as well, but I just wanted to show you some of these things while I've got her close up here. So this is the headpiece that she comes with. It kind of looks like a net, like a fishing net or something like that. That's like torn, but it's just a you know, plastic molded headpiece. And um, it's on like this headband. Her hair is tied back in this side ponytail over here, um, but I wanted to show you her earrings. Look at these earrings. They So this like metallic looking plastic is vacuumized metal, I guess is what it's called. But anyway, you got this like fuchsia cut, like I'm not sure what color exactly. It's a like pink color, but um, it kind of looks like a tentacle or something. But she's got the same earring on both sides. Oh, no, no, no. You know what that looks like? It looks like um, like one of those spiral shells with water coming out of it. I don't know what kind of shell that, that is. It's like an ammonite shell or something like that. I think she looks so good like this in the box. And I know for both Frankie and for Claudine, I debated on whether I was going to take them out of the box or keep them in the box. And like the struggle is real with Laguna because she looks so good like this. But I am going to debox her. I, de I deboxed both of the other two. Um, I'm going to keep the box that she comes in, but I am going to take her out. So and then I can like show you her whole outfit and everything. So let me get her untied from this box really quick and I will be right back. All right. So here she is out of the box. Now, just like all of the dolls, she comes with a Monster High brush. It is just a classic mold for the Monster High brushes, except it is in this vacuumized metal. She does also come with a stand that matches the brush. Now, each of the Haunt Couture dolls were given a color. Claudine was purple. Draculaura was pink. For Laguna, she has like this turquoise or aquamarine color. Frankie was supposed to have blue, but I have to say that the vacuumized metal is almost identical, like almost the exact same color for both Frankie and for Laguna. I mean, Frankie's might be like a tad more blue, but they're, like I said, almost the exact same color. And I'm not upset about that at all, it's just for comparisons. So showing this doll to you, like from head to toe, I've already shown you the accessories that she's got on her head, um, but let me show you the rest of the stuff she comes with. So looking at her jewelry, along with the earrings, she also comes with this really cool necklace, and the necklace looks like an octopus or a kraken or something, <laughs> but that is really cool. And it matches, 
her shoes. Monster High always has like the coolest looking shoes and they did not disappoint. So you've got these like octopus shoes and you know she's wearing these little starfish socks with them these shoes are just so cool they're like this light you know mint blue color and it's not really coming up on camera very well but they are sparkly like almost like a pearlescent also the combination of these shoes with these socks really remind me of the shriek wrecked laguna's shoes like they're not exactly the same but they do kind of remind me of them Moving back up to show you her other jewelry, she does have a little bracelet here. It kind of looks like two lines of pearls. It's kind of hard to see because under her jacket, she actually has a, like a protective layer of plastic. And I think it's just to protect the doll from staining. It's kind of annoying though. I really want to take that off. But anyway, so you can kind of see the bracelet there. And then she also has this really cool belt that looks like chains going around her waist. And then she's got another one of those shells, those spiral shells with like the water coming out of it and then she's got like a little clam shell there a little seahorse and a starfish i love all of her like sea references in her accessories so speaking of her jacket she has this really cool jacket it is i, I don't i forgot what this material is called if it's vinyl I think it's a vinyl material. It's like a clear plastic that's pliable. It's cool. Like, I, th I think that this material looks cool on doll clothing, but it is really hard to work with and really hard to pose the doll. But there's a lot of really cool little details, like all these faux zippers and everything everywhere, even on the back of the cuffs on both sides. Under the jacket, she has this really pretty dress. It's kind of like a mermaid cut or a mermaid style dress. It's got this like pink iridescent scale pattern and and then like in between, like over the shoulders and in the midsection is like this black mesh color. I love this. And then you add these ruffles here at the bottom and it's giving me very much 80s, like 80s Barbie mermaid or early 90s Barbie mermaid probably. I will say that the overall look for her and the silhouette and everything is very much giving me like 80s pop star, which is why I am so obsessed with this. It is giving me a little bit of flamenco dancer with, <laughs> with this mermaid cut for the dress, but but I kind of want to alter the dress a little bit and raise up the skirt like do something so that way maybe the skirt is right there I think that would give it a much more like Cindy Lauper or Madonna vibe from the 80s I don't know what do you think I think I've seen somebody else already make that alteration and I really liked it so if I can figure out how to do that without really damaging the dress I kind of want to do that because I like this silhouette a little better but for now I'm just gonna leave it the way it comes now of course she also comes with a purse the purse is made of plastic it does kind of spin here um, so it's got the, the longer uh, strap and then the shorter strap and it is see-through the purse looks so cool because it's got like this coral for the strap and like a little clam for the the lock um, I did try and open this but it is just it's sealed it won't open oh no 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 girl you need to stand up and then on the inside here is like this fish bone it kind of looks like a lionfish but the first thing I thought of when I saw this was like oh no did Laguna forget to feed Neptuna like <laughs> what's going on here <laughs> but um, it doesn't really look like Neptuna like I said it kind of looks more like a lionfish style so maybe this is like her comb like I mean she she comes with a brush but I think this is like you know in her purse she she brings a fishbone comb to you know take care of her hair while she's out and about I really really love these haunt couture dolls I don't care what anyone says if you want to spend $80 on the rainbow high holiday doll this year or you know $100 on the Paris Hilton doll or something like that you go for it I spent $75 on you know each of these haunt couture monster high dolls and i'm in love like you know when it comes to like cost versus value really it just kind of depends on your own personal preference and what are you willing to spend because a lot of people were complaining about the prices for these but then they still got the dolls so it's like i don't know you vote with your dollars <laughs> i don't know either way like i'm not gonna like stand on my soapbox here for too long and talk about that type of stuff um all i'm gonna say is i love these dolls and they are totally worth it to me 
for my collection and you know if other people don't think it's worth it or they're not as much of a Monster High fan that they felt that that you know the cost was worth the doll that they got that's totally valid and that's for them but for me I'm really happy with these dolls and I'm glad that I got them and the only issue is the ordering process on Mattel Creations like that needs to be fixed but I mean once you're able to actually get the doll <laughs> then, you know, you have some, re you know, a really awesome doll. And I'm really, really happy with this. And like the packaging and everything is so cool. I'm also so happy because, you know, even though you have to order these online and you can't see the doll before you buy it to make sure like there's no wonky eye or anything, I'm looking at this doll and really I'm not seeing any issues at all. I'm looking at her, like her face paint and everything, you know, to me it looks perfect. And if you see, a, if you see a defect, don't tell me because I'm happy with the dolls. <laughs> don't point it out in the comments. The only thing that I think like could be fixed a little bit is the eyelash because they are like this one's sticking out and this one's kind of sticking more up um, and they're not curled the eyelashes are very straight but I have no idea how to curl doll eyelashes just because they're so small I mean she has painted eyelashes on and it's kind of the same with all of them no Frankie's eyelashes are curled see look at this like Fra Frankie's eyelashes look curled they aren't just straight out same thing with Claudine so I don't know. Okay, maybe that's the defect I got because Claudine's lashes are definitely curled. She looks so good, by the way. <laughs> but like looking at this girl, like her lashes are just rooted going straight up. <laughs> And then other than like the one side being like going a little more straight up than the other side, they are pretty much symmetrical. So I'm not complaining about that. I just wish that they were like a little more curled. Like I wish I had like a little mini doll like eyelash curler that I could just go in there and fix them real quick. And I know that there's ways to do it. I'm just afraid to like mess with her face or her face up. So I'm just gonna deal with it for now. There are a couple changes that I kind of want to make to this doll. Um, one, I'm going to wash her hair. By the way, her hair is really thick compared to Frankie. Frankie's hair was really, really thin, which I don't mind. I love when the doll, ha I'd rather have a doll with saran hair that is thinner and longer like this rather than having shorter, thicker hair on a doll because I feel like you can do more with this. Like you can braid it, you can put it up in a, you know, like an updo or like different styles and braids and stuff, um, ponytails and whatever. But like when the hair gets thicker on a doll scale, sometimes it's hard to style. And the only thing you really can do is just like have it down and be curled even though her hair is not super curl. I need to fix her hair. I never really did anything after I got her out of the box. I need to fix all three of these dolls hair. Um, I mean, honestly, like I feel like Laguna's hair is probably the best straight out of the box. I don't really have to do anything with it. I mean, yes, there's little kinks in the hair like from where the little straps were holding it in and the ends are a little bit frizzy um, just from like the packaging process. But straight out of the box, I think that Laguna's hair is probably the best. I don't know, Frankie's hair is not bad. Like it looks fine. I haven't done anything with any of these dolls. Don't fall off your stand. And like, of course, you know, Frankie's hair could be a lot more sleek. Like I could do boil wash or something like that just so it looks a little bit more tidy. But none of them are like really that bad. But um, I do need to do something with their hair. I think that I'm going to boil wash Frankie's hair and I'm probably going to curl Claudine's hair. Like not much more than it already is curled. Like I want to do loose, loose curls like this, but the back of her hair is like straight. It's not curled at all. So um, I want to kind of fix that up. For Laguna, her hair is really curly and it's really nice and I like it, but I kind of want to move this ponytail up higher um, because I want to give her that like side ponytail that like super 80s look. Cause I just, I think that that would look so cute. And like I said, I'm getting very much 80s vibes from her look. I will admit I also am I'm getting a lot of Spanish influences in here. Um, I kind of joked earlier saying it looked like kind of like a flamenco dancer um, and I'm just talking about the the bottom ruffles but I think that that might be more of what they were going for because um, I think when they did like the monster exchange program during G1 they had the dolls and they had a Laguna that went to Spain or whatever the monster high pun version of that name was. So that kind of inspiration is not new for Laguna but like I said I think I'm seeing a lot more of 
of the 80s pop star vibes from this doll. So I think I'm going to lean heavier into that when I restyle her. And I haven't 100% decided if I'm going to shorten the skirt yet or not. Anyway, I think I'm going to have to make like a separate video where I fix all these dolls hair. I know I keep talking about it and just like things are coming up like this is this next couple months, like once Thanksgiving hits later this week, it's things are going to get really, really busy. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any hair videos until after Christmas, but um, I definitely want to start doing hair videos. Um, let me know in the comments, would you like to see like separate videos for each doll or would you like to see like group hair restyles? Because what I'm thinking of doing is all my Haunt Couture dolls do need a little TLC, but nothing major. So I might do all three of those in one video. But then like my real drama dolls, they also need some help. And then my G3 Monster High dolls for sure need some help as well. Um, so I, do you want me to like do one big video where I, you know, show fixing all of their hair or do you want me to split it up and do shorter videos, one for each doll? Anyway, for now, I'm going to get going because um, I want to find a spot for her on my shelf because I love her so much and I'm absolutely going to be displaying her. Um, but I really appreciate if you've watched this far. In fact, if you have watched this far, then you must have liked the video. So let me know by hitting that thumbs up and subscribe and ring the bell. You'll get a notification every time I upload so if you want to hang out with me some more anyway I gotta get going for right now thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you next time bye if you like this video you can let me know by hitting thumbs up you can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen I post new videos every week so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload thanks so much for watching see you in the next video